I mean, we, you know, on paper, we look like we got a good ball club, and I like this ball club we have, believe me. I, was, I used to go in the gym some days feeling sluggish, you know, and I want to lift the weights and things like that. Then we start getting these players, and I said, oh, man, I just start lifting weights like it wasn't nothing. After that, you know, I just got this reverse of energy. This is going to be by far the best team we put on the field in the Marlins' existence. The runners on base right now just trying to get something started here. He hit it hard. He hit it deep. Way back. Hasta la vista, baby. Moises Alou in his Marlins debut. He hits a mammoth shot into the left field corner. Nine nothing and the Marlins with a big lead but right now the story is right hander Kevin Brown and so now Brown is just one strike away from what would be the second no hitter in Marlin history. Got him looking. It's a no no. And Kevin Brown is being mobbed. The Giants had only one base runner on a hit batsman. Dave Dombrowski the club's general manager he put this team together. This team has gelled into a team. There's a bouncer to council on to Conine and for the first time in baseball history the Marlins have extended their season. We look forward now to the playoffs Jimmy this club could go all the way. I don't think there's any question about that. We got a good chance to anybody. Jimmy. And the tying run comes to the plate. It's about the third or fourth time that Leland has gone to the classes to, to wipe him off to make sure he's seeing what he's seeing here. <laughs> And every time he puts them back on, it still looks the same. He needs one more out. The 3-1 pitch. Swings on it, and this could do it. Council throws him out. The Marlins sweep, and the Braves are next. The Moises Alou, who led the team in RBI. 2-1 pitch. Chipper Jones has it skipped by it. One run is home. Here comes Sheffield to score. And they're going to win Conine around as well. The play at the plate. The ball gets through Perez and three runs score. You have a runner at third. You can't afford a wild pitch here either. You. Yep. Absolutely. In the air to left center field and very well hit. Back into the gap and Crespo's diving attempt is to no avail. Three runs will score. There's a play at the plate. But sliding home is Devon White on the double by Charles Johnson. What a time to get his first career hit. John Smokes. Bonilla has eight career grand slams, three of them this year, including one against Atlanta. Rips it to left for a base hit. White scores. Renneria being waved home. Not nearly in time. Two nothing Florida. Two out. Two on. And the 2 2 pitch. Hit hard by Brown. Scooped up by Council to Renneria, and it's over. Great play. It would be sweet in any case, but how much sweeter is it for Jim Leland and Bobby Bonilla, members of the Pittsburgh Pirates who were denied before by the Atlanta Braves. And in 1992, it was particularly heartbreaking. It wasn't in this ballpark. It was just across the street, but it was in this city five years ago tonight. So what a place to exercise those demons. And to make it official that Jim Leland, for the first time in a long and distinguished career as a major league manager, is on his way to the World Series. So Levon Hernandez really got tough when there was traffic on the bases against the uh, Atlanta Braves. He really got tough and stopped the runners in their tracks. Ken was talking about earlier, they got some big hits, and he was one of the guys who got them. But not this time. Hernandez on the outside corner gets his first strike. A swung on and got him. 2 2 delivery. Struck him out. Strike three call. Taken out on a breaking ball. Five strikeout for LeBron Hernandez. So now it's Council who carries the run that could win the World Series as he leads away from third. Five times this year in extra innings. Edgar Renteria drove in the winning run in the bottom of the inning for the Marlins. All after the ninth inning. The 0 1 pitch. A liner. 